back. Are we back? Are we back? We are good. I think the car does not really like being connect. It's like Bluetooth. It connects to like this app, and I don't think it likes it very much. Pregasm. <laughs> oh, you silly. Don't worry. I'm not literally looking at anything whilst I'm driving. If I'm standing still, then I'm looking. But since I passed my test, I've been a lot more, you know, like, lax. I don't sit on my phone while I'm driving, certainly not. But I am more, like, laxed with, um... I used to be so, like, oh, just painfully, painstakingly, painstakingly at every roundabout, every everything. And now I'm just like, poof, just go through. <laughs> Right now I'm at traffic lights. Welcome back, Ed. I think the stream died. I think it does not. It's sort of like connected to the car while I'm in it. Um, and it doesn't seem to like that. So the chat may like disappear every now and again. I'm sitting at red lights so I can look. And I said, and I asked, I said... My sort of fucking Melissa. Fucking Melissa. Melissa, who went to the same school as me in primary school. I don't know what I can't remember her. I actually don't remember her at all from my high school. I mean, we went, we, everyone in like my town went to the same high school, <laughs> more or less. So I don't know what happened to her. I just never spoke to her again. She was a bully. She was horrible. Me fucking Melissa. I don't know. Fuck her. And I told her, and I said that she didn't like the taste of water. It's boring. And I said, I was talking about Billy Idol. I was looking for music. And Billy Idol um, came up on, like, my Spotify. Probably because, you know, my mum listens to Billy Idol. <laughs> so I think she probably listens to Billy Idol. And I realised, and I didn't realise that Billy Idol was from England. Because I always thought that he was American. Because everything about his look... And his music, like, screams American to me. You know? Yeah, they're with <laughs> Melissa, I know. <laughs> it's like, someone give her a shout-out. <laughs> Don't give her a shout-out. She doesn't deserve a shout-out. Don't, don't give her one of those. But yeah, when I stream from my PC now, it's going to come up with, like, uh, clips. Of people's streams, which is pretty cool. Uh, Spaghetti and uh, Nem have got the same feature, and I, I thought it was a lot more complicated to set up, but it's not. It's literally just like a website does it. So, so it's good. Good. So yeah, I'm in the car. I don't know how much of this you can hear. It's a very quiet car. It's a very quiet car, which is a good thing about electric cars. But um, yeah, Duber, if you're still there, Duber, we need to get... We're going to do our double dragon. Oh, shut, shut up. It's my parking sensor. It goes crazy sometimes. We need to do Double Dragon. We're going to do Double Dragon. We're going to do... Oh, hello. I don't know what else you want to do. You're better at Dr. Mario than I am. <laughs> Fucking the Dr. Mario speedruns. And we had a good conversation with Mem. So we're going to do a stream with him, probably, at some point. And we're going to have a feature where people will redeem a channel point. Just, just one channel point, <laughs> just however many. And then we have to only start speaking in Swedish and Norwegian. Him speaking Swedish and me speaking Norwegian. And uh, it's going to be some funny shit. But I haven't decided what we'll do yet. I don't know what we're going to do. I know. 
Can you imagine being stranded on a desert island with someone and they're just like, no, it's boring. I'll just, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to drink water. I don't like it. I'm just going to wait until like, we find like a Coke can. Like, could you fucking imagine? <laughs> just like whatever the fuck that is. But yeah. This roundabout in the city is the worst. And I think I probably fucked up several driving lessons because of it back in the day. Like it's hard to think that I started learning to drive almost a year ago. No, over a year ago. It's just hard to think that I almost passed my driving test almost a year ago, because I did pass. I passed in uh, May last year, May the 10th. And now that I'm driving a bit faster, I'm not sure how much you guys can hear of me. I hope it's okay. I'm actually driving too slowly. Wise Magus, Lisa Magus. If you're still there, are the cats okay? <laughs> Cloud and Buster, they're all right. Is Cloud sleeping next to you? He's probably fine. He's fine. Buster's fine. I was worried that he might have followed me down but he, to the car, but he didn't. I don't think he goes that far. Wise Magus. Wise Magus. A bit like Lewis Maga, which, which means uh, something else. Which means something else. I had to type that at work today. Lewis Maga. Hello, hum, hard. Hello, for Lewis Maga, but honest. It's like, not, a, not the nicest sentence in the world. That's how it is. These people I work with are crazy. Well, they're not crazy. It's, uh, the stuff of the stuff we've been through is crazy, but, like, not the stuff. Not, like, I, I don't know. But yeah, yeah. It's Friday tomorrow, right? It doesn't feel... Uh, this week... The weeks feel short. The days feel short. And the months also feel short, so I think I'm just in a time where everything feels short. I remember feeling that like the, the days were long, but the weeks were short, and then the weeks were long, but the days were short. This feels like a long, no, short week. It's like, it's already, oh, it's already Friday! It was Saturday yesterday. <laughs> come back to my house, I can turn on the PC and continue from there when I get back. It was fun walking about though, burn some calories, stretch the old legs, realised that I really need a buff for like my head. To re One of those things you call them, you, know, you wrap them around your head. It's like a buff, but not, it's like a, just like a headband I guess, but everyone has them. The good ones. Just a headband, I suppose they're called. Buffs are like, you can use them as anything, like headbands and bandanas and scarves and shit. So, well, not really a scarf, but it's a washer scarf. Similar to a scarf. Turbans. Yeah, I like a turban. Uh, just just a headband, yeah. I'm gonna buy one. But like a headband that cut you know covers your ears and like the majority of your head, because you know that's where you lose the most of your heat is through your head. And uh, that's important over here where it gets so fucking chilly. See what a temperature difference now it says it's it's just zero, it's freezing now. Because it was below freezing in this town. Yeah, just a hat, yeah. Just buy a hat, yeah. I forgot to bring one, but I like those headbands, so I want to get one. I'm going to look for one tomorrow. 
and I'll get you what I said I would get. I'm saving up for your birthday present still, Knut. I'm gonna get you. I'm, I'm gonna get you a cape, and I've asked for your current gift to be sent again because I ordered something for Knut, and it was lost in the post. <laughs> it was so boring. I was messaging them like, what happened to my package? I ordered it like a month ago and never got it. And they were like, oh, we'll check. And then they sent it back. They sent a message back in Swedish like, yeah, it's gone. We are integrant de bort. That was bad Swedish. That was bad Swedish. I hope Nem's not here to hear it. And, uh, got it back in Swedish. And, um, so I said, yeah, we'll just send it again. Because I paid for it. I'm not fucking buying another one. <laughs> I said to Knut, like, don't buy anything from this shop until I get this thing because I know what you're like. I was like, don't buy anything. I'm going to get it and then you can buy stuff so that we don't buy the same thing. But I think you'll like it. I hope you like it. Driving around, got no place to go. This was a bit pointless, I suppose, me just going out like this, going to another town and just driving around, then walking around for 20 minutes and driving back. But fuck it, it was good. Get a wee, get a wee, get out of the house, stretch the old legs, burn a couple of calories because I ate that fucking pizza. It's like, I'm trying so, so hard to lose weight. I'm trying so fucking hard. And it's like, hmm, what will I have for dinner? I'll have a pizza. So tomorrow we're probably going to have lasagna, which is even worse. <laughs> But, um, no, I have been eating well. I've been eating an apple for breakfast every day, and I think there's only one apple left, so I need to get more. Um, apple every day for breakfast, and I have some porridge. Um, is that like a nighttime snack if I get hungry? And I've been eating just three times a day. My well, apple for breakfast, and then I have my, like, fibery, what you call them, like, cracker breads, like, knick it a, which is kind of like... What the fuck do you call them in English? Do you just call it cracker bread? Like rivitas, like rivitas, like just like thing, crackers, sort of. But like big ones, like long ones. What the fuck is, what do you call them in English? And um, have them for my lunch. I have about four or five. Um, I used to have like 10, so <laughs> that's cut down from that. I have some of them, and then I have maybe like a couple of uh, apple grapes. That's my fruit. And then I will eat dinner, which is probably a bit worse at, but I've started making soup as well. I've been making lentil and bacon. Which is uh, pretty fun to make. I really enjoy making it, and it tastes really good. Um, and I've been having that, which I need to make more of. Actually, I might make it when I get... No, it's a bit late to make it now. I'll make it tomorrow, and um, some soup, and then I come home and eat dinner, and if I'm still hungry after that, I'll eat just like a bit of porridge um, with some fruit on it. And that's it, I really, I just eat like boring food, I'm, I'm not, I don't really think I'm like a foodie, I just, I love porridge, and my mum hates porridge, so <laughs> anything that she doesn't like, I probably eat it, like mushrooms, and seafood, and porridge. So... Not the AC, I'm gonna turn the heat on. Now it's gone down to minus eight. What a temperature difference. But, um. So there, so. There's that. Um, I'm like trying super, super. And, and in addition to that, I'm also exercising at the gym. And on Tuesday, we did a really high intensity workout that, um, I like collapsed after. <laughs> um, I didn't actually collapse. Um, it was pretty t intense. We're doing it again next Thursday. Next, Yeah, next Thursday, and I'm going to train again tomorrow. But my training is a lot less intense, so I wasn't used to it. I wasn't used to it. Um, I just do, like, on the treadmill, because it's not very extensive, our gym at work. I just do it at work. It's not very extensive. It's just like a two treadmills, like a, a sort of cycling machine. There are a couple of cycling machines. I don't think they're in use. Um, one of those sort of like lane, what do you call it, like lunges? No, it's sort of not a treadmill, but anyway. Um, 
Uh, and there's a sort of lap pull down machine thing. which I do, and that's basically it. And I don't really, I'm kind of doing more cardio over strength training. But then we did like on, the one we did, it was like strength training. Uh, there was no cardio, it was all strength. And it was so fucking, I was like, my arms were on fire, my thighs, oh my God. I couldn't even, I was like struggling to like even walk down the stairs after it. It was, oh, wow, it was boom, it was intense. And I'm very unfit, so I'm not used to it. And yeah, I'm just hoping that I'm able to stick with it. I'm just hoping that I can, trying and because I have historically always hated going to the gym I have always hated it I just sort of sit oh and I'm working out I just like stare at the clock kind of like waiting for it to be over which I still do but I'm trying to just you know get into a different space of mind and uh and do it and maybe train and just try and train for a bit longer every day because so far we'll only be doing like 30 minutes and 30 minutes is probably not enough, but, you know, got to change some habits. And um, I put on a lot of weight, like, over the past year or two, and um, I want to not have that weight, so. <laughs> Need to be more trim. But, yeah, no, there's, there's that. I am now, how far away from home? No, 15 minutes maybe. I just started thinking about Billy Idol again. <laughs> yeah, it's minus nine. It'll be colder where I where I live. It's colder. It's probably like it was minus like 12 this morning. Um. But yeah, so there's that. I think there's too many famous Billies. There's too many famous people named Billy. There's a lot. I can think of like five. Billy Idol is one. Probably the most. I don't think he probably lives in America. He probably doesn't sound English if you're to interview him. But you just wouldn't look at him and expect. And you would look at him and expect like a sort of Ailey Valley Boy accent to come out and instead it's like fucking someone from like Birmingham or something you just don't expect it <laughs> where someone like you know Iron Maiden they all look English to me <laughs> I don't know I say someone like Iron Maiden as if like the guy's name is just Iron Maiden yeah no it's no his name is just Iron Maiden like when people say that, like, oh, Zelda, do people actually still think that, like, oh, Zelda is the, like, Zelda is the, what is it, the fucking, the Legend of Zelda, and they go, like, oh, like, Zelda is the name of the hero. I don't think people still honestly believe that. I think it is pretty common parlance that the, the, the princess is Zelda and she's not the playable character. I remember thinking, like, why is it called The Legend of Zelda? You don't even play as Zelda, but... Well, A, you play as Zelda in at least one game. Two games. Three ga Actually, three games. All of which are non-canon. <laughs> and, uh, what else? And B, it's The Legend of Zelda sounds better than, like, The Legend of Link. And Link was not even... I don't think Link was even confirmed as the character's name until, like later on. I mean, it's not even, they called him Link because he was meant to be like the link between you and the game. You know, he was the, he's, he's your avatar. But that's, you know, and then his name has just kind of become accepted as being Link. It's like, how do they know that the, chi the child is the legendary hero? Does just do all the people in Hyrule name their sons Link, hoping that he will be like the one, or like how does it work? Ah, uh, fuck if I know. I've actually no idea. I just notice you can sometimes see like a flash, and it's like it's the streetlights. <laughs> 
But yeah. I'm not far from home now, probably. I don't know, 10 minutes or something? It's like a movie scene in the dark film with the flashing streetlights. Yeah, as long as you can hear everything I'm saying. That's fine. It is, yeah, it's because it's the way that my phone is positioned. I'm, I'm not sitting here holding it, staring at it. That would be stupid. I'm just glancing at it every so often. So I'm not, I'm not following the chat or anything, I don't think. Yeah. But yeah, Link, yeah. Is it, it, honestly, The Legend of Zelda sounds so much better than the legend of Link. Because what else would they have called it when his name wasn't Link? They would just call it like the legend of the player character, the legend of some guy. The legend of Zelda sounds a lot better. Now it's just such common parlance that Zelda is, you know, Zelda is not the name of the hero. <laughs> I mean, you can still name him Zelda. I don't think people actually still believe that there is like Metroid, like the character's name is Metroid, not Sign, you know. This is a series about a woman who, or a man, who, you know, people who didn't think that Samus was a woman. This is a series, a series about a man whose name is Metroid and he walks about named Zoldo or Lunk. <laughs> Lunk. Does anyone remember those videos of the legend of Lunk or something? And it was like Link, but he's like huge, and, like he's like the size of like fucking battle chest, and, and he's always frowning. He just like walks through walls to get to Ganon. It's brilliant. And they were really old. I think it was like Cyanide and Happiness or something that made them Lunk. Yeah, Legend of Lunk. <laughs> something like that. Something like that. Some stupid anyway. What about like there's Metal Gear. The, the old is old, but the Metal Gear Awesome videos are still funny, I think. I don't tend to watch things like that, but they're still funny. And I really want to replay Metal Gear Solid soon. Which I might do it on stream, I also might not. I'm kind of at a loss for um, what I want to play on stream. I can't really... I know I need to finish Final Fantasy XV because I was enjoying it. Um, but I'm putting Kingdom Hearts on the back burner because I just cannot get motivated to play it at all. I just, I'm just like, ugh. And I played it once and it, you know, it was okay. I didn't mind it. I didn't dislike it, but I was just like, oh God, I just can't motivate myself to play. So Kingdom Hearts is just going to be on the back burner and I may or may not go back to it. Um, I can't promise anything. I still want to do runs of FF7 Remake. I still want to do, um, what else was I going to Final Fantasy 15 is like kind of like the one I was needing to finish. There's so many side quests in 15. And you've got Platinum, oh Jesus. I don't think I can get Platinum on it because it's a fucking big game, but I didn't, I am enjoying it. I've just, I've not played it in ages and I need to, I kind of want to find out, find out more games to stream that people would enjoy. Um, so I always take in suggestions. It just takes me a very long time to get there because I'm a horrible and unreliable person. But I've got lots of games on my list and it's just something, I mean, not all of them make for good streaming games, you know what I mean? Like, not all of them make for good streaming games. And if I'm playing a new game especially, I feel like I am so unentertaining. I'm just, I'm kind of, I'm concentrating. If it's a new game, I'm concentrating on it and I'm not saying much. Where if it's a game that I know already, then I'm, I'm able to talk about it more. Hey, Ryan. I've done un Untitled, I've done Untitled Goose Game actually. I've done that before. I streamed it all in one go. I played. I think I was on a live for about three and a half hours playing it, and I got nearly all of the achievements. I'm out driving at the minute. That's why it's a weird screen at the minute. I'm in my car. Um, maybe I'll play Toomba. I might play Toomba. <laughs> maybe go through some old PS1 shit. PS1 games. We're here for you. Though. Play what you want. Thank you. That's that. That means a lot to me. Thank you. I, maybe I'll do another run of No More Heroes, and I might stream. I stream No More Heroes one and two, and I think to complete it, I'll have to stream uh, No More Heroes: uh, Travis Strikes Again, which is a very strange game. And uh, I can finally go back to No More Heroes three, which I adore, but I haven't played it in so long because I'm I'm a terrible person. That's why. Uh, <laughs> stream Final Fantasy ten. I want the story to make you cry. 
<laughs> oh. Fuck, be careful. Yeah, don't worry. I'm, I'm not, like, staring at the chat. I'm not holding the phone. I've just got the phone down. I'm glancing at it every so often. I know this route very well, so I'm fine. I'm almost home anyway. And there's barely any cars about it anyway, so where I live is pretty isolated, so. I think I have I, I, crying on stream. Oh, my God. I have done that once before when I finished Final Fantasy IX, but I didn't cry because it was sad. I cried, like, because Mufo... My friend Mufo was in the chat with me and he was just like saying nice things and I just started crying. <laughs> I was like, oh. Switch says, don't play Toomba because he hates it. Right, I, I'm putting Toomba on my list. I'm going to download Toomba as we speak. <laughs> and I'm going to, but isn't Toomba two discs? Uh, Toomba's one disc or two discs. I can't remember. Mr. Bones is two. Mr. Bones, yeah, I'm going to do Mr. Bones. I was sad. Yeah, that was sad. But I didn't, like, cry because of Vivi. He was my favourite, though. It was, a, it was a great game. Final Fantasy IX, it was a great game. It's one disc, yeah, okay. I thought so. I didn't think Toomba was, or Toombi, as I remember it being. Toombi with an I. I remember it being spelled. I don't think it was Toomba. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, we're doing Toomba. I'm going to do Toomba. <laughs> Fuck that game, I know. But we're going to do Mr. Bones as well. Mr. Bones and the Sega Saturn, which is terrible. It's awful. It's awful. <laughs> it's just that fucking sound. Just like, whoop, 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 which I do love. Oh, fuck, my phone fell down. <laughs> right, so there we go. Beep, 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 beep. I'm a lurk, because I have to play Blip. You're playing Blip? Oh, Blitzball, Ryan, why? But is it not Blitzball? Like, people love Blitzball or hate it. Do you like Bubble Bobble? Mario Kart? Yeah, we're doing Mario Kart in real life. I'm just about to throw a banana at this poor unsuspecting asshole in front of me. Bubble Bobble I have not played in, like, a million years. But I played it... No. I can't remember. Do you know the NES game called Nuts and Milk? It creeps me out. <laughs> Double Dragon 2 and Bubble Bobble. Okay. I need Waka. Waka's ultimate weapon. Why, though? Why do you need that? Why does anyone need that? Nobody needs that. Right, I'm actually almost home. It's very slippy here, this road. Uno for Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I have played, do you know what, believe this or not, I have played Uno once in my life, and I played it in a pub. Like, I played it in a karaoke bar. <laughs> it was rubbish. It was rubbish. Everyone has Uno dipshit. It came free with your fucking Xbox. Right, what temperature is it? It's minus 11, according to my car. And we made it. I am back. We're going to get a secret door, but I forgot how. <laughs> okay. Let me turn my car off. And grab my headphones. I got the 50th anniversary DLC, which adds one new card when you select the theme, which is a coin toss. Whew, don't worry, guys, you will see something in a minute. Here's my fucking scarf. Headphones for my head. I love staring at the colour black. Well, here. <laughs> I'm out the car. I'm home. I'm locking it right now. Whew. Hang on. Oh, you can tie my jacket. So we're moving about a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty chilly. It actually feels warmer here. Uh, yeah, I live in Norway, Switch. It's fucking snow and ice everywhere. <laughs> Make sure my car is locked. Yeah. Well, it's not snowing right now. What's a good song to request for Beat Saber? Um, 
Can you type in Wario laughing? Type in Wario laughing. It's kind of warm but kind of cold over in my part of the UK. Which part of the UK would that be? Would that be the south? Or is it not the south? And I don't know why I just said not the south because <laughs> the south is uh, the part I have seen the most of all my other times being in England. What do you mean you have no clue? You don't have any clue where you live? <laughs> Onto the road. <sighs> but yeah, I am gonna I'm gonna turn off for a sec in a little bit once I get home and I'll start the stream again from my PC in a bit. We'll just continue chatting. Because I'm enjoying chatting. England is England. OMG <laughs> that song. Yeah, did you type in why are you laughing? Because that's what you should do. There's my shadow. But yeah, okay, I'm going to turn the stream off, guys. Stick around. I will be on again. I'll come on from my PC. And I'll be on in about five minutes. Because now I'm... I know. Shadow reveal. Shadow the hedgehog. So, catch you in a few minutes, guys. I'm going to go on for my PC. It's fucking freezing. See you in a little bit.